Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast. We're hyped. This is episode 89. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am hype. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. These niggas ain't even guests no more. They done been in the building so many times. Reintroduce yourself to the audience. Big Dan from the Bridge in the Gap Podcast. We back. Right back. Oh, it's the one, it's the only. Never, never, never. I don't even know what the fuck I was gonna say. But it's on good face, y'all. What's going on? How you doing from the Bridge in the Gap Podcast? I thought I whole little. I had a whole little speech. I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Shout but. out to my man, Uncle. Shout out to my man, Uncle B. Uncle ain't here today, but you know we holding it down for my man, Uncle. Down in North Carolina at the first black-owned Fat Tuesdays in Valley, North Carolina, owned by my cousin Tim and his wife Tina. So you know, quick little shameless plug. You know, if you're at if you're in North Carolina, down in the Raleigh area, and you want to go get your little Fat Tuesday vibe, it's the only Fat Tuesdays down there, black-owned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Fly. Oh, no, you, know what I mean? you, say, you already know international hype, not just the hashtags, it's where life. I got some folks down there on the ground. We'll make sure we get that information sent out promptly. Um, hey, my- now let's go. E Block Radio Network every Monday, two o'clock on the E Block Radio mm-hmm. Network, two o'clock GFT Radio Network every Tuesday, Wednesday, two, one, six, the blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. They love me that much. Three slots. Uh, WTNUPhilly.com, 12 30 every Thursday. Friday, I say podcast radio network. That's down there in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? But I got folks on both sides of the Carolinas. <laughs> um, also, Saturdays, THC Media, 10 a.m. on the THC Media. Sunday, still wide open. West Coast, what's happening out there? Uh, Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle World on Instagram is my clothing line. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. If you're watching the video on eBlock on a Monday at 2 o'clock or any time during the week, you will see that Uncle Face is rocking a Custom Hustle exclusive right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we do custom jackets, custom jerseys, t- uh, t-shirts, sweatsuits. We can put your logo on something if you want it. It's going to cost you a little extra, but we can make it happen. Uh, the jackets you design yourself, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, however you need them jerseys, we got them in. Um, H2H Cleaning, also my cleaning company. You follow that at H2H Cleaning. We do roofing, plumbing, HVAC, uh, flooring, carpeting, cleanups, cleanouts. You name it, we can make it happen. It's a tri-state area situation, but if you make it worth my while, we will slide. Now, my guys, BTG Podcast, these niggas are so, you know what I'm saying? These niggas are so cool that they going to throw out the question for this week's episode. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I told them, oh, I was, oh, oh. Told them I'm a habitual plagiarist, you know what I'm saying? But I will always shout you out when I plagiarize. No, but this I just, one was so good that I said, no, nah, y'all going to ask this one on the show. So go ahead, Face. It's on you, baby. Talk to no. me. No, no, you know, I just bring I just bring the vision behind it. My man, who's my co-host, who is the brains behind this shit, he works this shit far better than I do. And I just give you my take on it. So I'm gonna get a mic to the one, the only the brains from the bridging the gap part. This is why you don't pass the ball. I give that brother a solid bounce pass in the pocket. Just lay the ball. He Ben Simmons fumbles it, throws it to Matisse. My man. <laughs> <laughs> you, pass, you pass it to him, then he threw the oop. Now I'm about to, hey, you know, Copy that. That is, let's go. You know, <laughs> Bridge Gap Podcast on all streaming flat on all streaming platforms at BTG Podcast. You know, every Monday we dropping something major. You know what I'm saying? Well, on get back, on get back, but he ain't here right now. He he out of town, but you know, we gonna do this thing. So me and Face That's was talking. Philly support Philly. Shouts out to my guys. Yes, sir. So you know, me and Face was talking. We was on our, on our little pod earlier. You know. And we wanted to get Heim's take on it. So the question is this. Do you think, not only do you think or can people grow out? uh, So can you grow out of your marriage? Or do you think that people just grow apart from each other? I think that they kind of one and the same. Because this is an episode that I did before. Shout out to my man, DJ J. So, oh, do all relationships have an no, 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 I'm sorry. I don't think that's how it was. I'm sorry to bridge in the gap. Hold on. I think it Even was. He said you, that Dan handled this one. Out of <laughs> the person, or do you grow out of the marriage? I think that's. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> um, can you grow out of your marriage? Or do you grow out of each other? Do the people grow? Do you grow out of the per- the person? Do you grow apart from each other? If you I grow out of the person, then you had to grow out of the marriage. The marriage kinda, only. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you go, but I got a little pushback for that. Go ahead. He told me he gonna let me go on my own shit. Did you hear this nigga? I'm on <laughs> <laughs> We in the building. Let's go. Um, 
Yeah, like I, I, I it's kind of like they one in the same because you can absolutely grow out in your marriage because if y'all got married at 25, y'all ain't gonna be the same people at 40. Your vision is different. Your wants, your needs, like the shit that you're aspiring for is different. The things that she wanted out of a man at 25 might have been totally different than what she's looking for at 45 or 35 or 31. You know what I'm saying? So it's very easy for y'all to grow out of those situations because that's any relationship. People will try to make it such a special thing when it's a marriage, but it has the same way to fall apart just like any friendship or any relationship can. If you're not working at it, if we're not growing together, if we're not looking at shit the same way, then we're going to grow apart. Now, we can also grow apart while we had two, three kids and we got a house and we got this business and like, it'll be all those different things that'll just make you say like, I can't leave this situation because I got too much time, money, and energy invested into it. But you can damn sure also know, though, like, we ain't even looking at this the same way. Like, she's not even the type of, she's turned into the type of girl that I don't even like. He's turned into the type of guy that I don't even like. So you could definitely grow out of them situations. Faith? Well, here is my take on it. Uh, Let me ask you a question, then I'll give you my take on it. Are you the same person? How long you, first of all, let's start here. How long Six years. Six years, right? Yes. Let's let's say six. I'm I'm a veteran. I'm the veteran in this conversation. But let's six six, six years married, how long together? Right. Six years. Six so is, total all together as a unit. Yeah, we was talking, but you know, we wasn't officially anything. That was my best no, no. friend, April. All right, so what? Give or take what, seven, eight years, something like that? Oh no, we had been having a long conversation. We've been talking since 06, but we wasn't in an official relationship or anything until 2016. So that's what? How many years? You six years? That's Sixteen. Sixteen, brother. Ten, oh. six, you know. All right. 16, right? So <laughs> right. You're not even you're not even the same person from 16 years ago. You don't even Absolutely like not. hold on. You don't even like the same foods from 16 years ago. Can we can we agree to, to say that? To say um I'm not the same person, no, but the same foods definitely, yeah. Okay. I'm still eating bad like I was then. So yes, people grow apart because you and the person you with is not the same person from 10, 6, 12, however many years ago from now. No, so yes, you and the person is going to fucking grow apart. I think if you grow out of your marriage, you or the person wanted not to be in that marriage, period. Because I don't feel you grow out of a union, a marriage. Yeah, you're going to grow out of a person. Everybody change. But you shouldn't grow out of the marriage. See, this is, see, this is why I said, though, uh, she's not the same person that she was when I met her when she was 15. She shouldn't be the same person that she was when she was 15. So, like, you all have to be growing together. You're both growing. you both evolving. Things is changing with both of us. Like, when we met, she wasn't a mom. She wasn't a wife. She wasn't a woman. Like, so those different things are the same for me. Like, so you have to change. It's just all about y'all growing together. The things that you're changing are the things that work for y'all situation. So it's like, I know as a grown man where my wife is strong and where my wife is weak yeah. but as two teenagers like we wasn't looking at each other like that it's communication because it's communication right in a marriage you gotta be you gotta be transparent you don't even like the same shit you like i'm not saying you this hypothetically speaking i don't want to get too deep you don't even like the same shit sexually you like 16 years ago my nigga nobody like so it's like you gotta have that conversation and be like yo that's not doing it for me no more you gotta do this you gotta do that. That's not. But that's I'm, how. That's what, happy, but that's how any. So but that's how, all, say, that's how all of our relationships work. If me and you over these like five six years that we knew each other, if we're not communicating the different things that we feeling going through, or like I got this going on now, and I got that going on. If we don't ever communicate those different things, and all we ever meet on is that surface level that we met on, we'll never grow our relationship. Exactly. You dig me? So. So that's that's my answer to the question. Uh, people are going to grow apart. Marriage you should. That's me. Go go ahead, Dan. Jump in here. So, in my opinion, so of course, people can grow apart. People can grow out of each other. You can grow out of a person. 
you can grow out of the marriage. Um, I think what the key to it is, though, because like you was just saying, if one per let's say we both growing, but now we, like you said, it's different. 16 years in, like I'm 16 years in myself, six years married, set going on seven years married. If congratulations, thank you. <laughs> you have to be open to the other pro person's growth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like if she's growing and I, if she want to experience different shit and that you, you should want to be open to that. You dig what I'm saying? And that will prevent y'all growing apart and growing out of the marriage. You know what I mean? If I'm growing and I, I now I'm tired of working for, for the, I, I want to work for myself. I want to start a business. I want to do that. I want to, you know, be an entrepreneur. You know, it's her job to support that. You know what I'm saying? If she start, oh, nah, I'm, if, oh, nah, well, why don't you just stay what you're doing? I'm cool with you being there. Now she's stagnant. She's not growing with me. So now I'm going to, uh, what our marriage was, like when we first got married, like you said, I want to do different shit now. I don't want to be locked down. I don't want to, I'm not going to be consistent in all, all these years together. I'm going to want to do different shit. So you have to allow me to grow, but you also have to support my growth. I'm going to support your growth. Now, if you growing in, if you, now let's say, have you ever been in a situation where that growth ain't, you know, y'all can't see eye to eye on something, say she want to do something, she changing her views on life and you have a strong, you know, you're not feeling what she on, what would you do? Let's say your wife come to you and say, hey, babe, I'm, I'm, re I'm quitting my job right now. I want to do this over here. I'm going to try this right now. It's going to fuck up what we got going on right now. But this is what I want to do. This is where my heart is right now. And I want to do this. So that's my situation this year that you're talking about. It wasn't her saying it. It was me saying it. Okay. Uh, we talked about that. One of the times that I was up there with y'all, I don't remember been too many times to, you know, oh, yeah, that one day. <laughs> um, what was that like? What was that conversation like? If you don't mind, you know, we don't want to get you I know. mean, well, no, it, it's not, none of our conversations are hard because we Remember prepared for the like this drive through and we get yeah, you in. The I mean, no, I, I got you on time. Um, <laughs> you, we can always part two, three, four, five these situations. People love that shit. Um, mm -hmm. The thing about it is we had those conversations before we became in a relationship. Like I said, we was talking for 10 years. We just wasn't, like, the reason we wasn't in a relationship is because, like, I don't know how Face did it because he came straight high school and went straight to the league. I yeah, couldn't do that. I had, had too much play in me still. You know what I'm saying? Still, you had too much dip on your chip. That's what I'm That's saying. What I, and, and it's crazy. You I told can. him earlier, me and my wife met when we was in high school, ninth grade. It wouldn't have worked back then. If Copy, we would have got together you, back then, it wouldn't have worked. You got to be, like I said, with what I'm saying to Face, is the communication. Me and my wife, two different religions. So you have to talk about that before y'all just end up in the house married and now y'all got kids. You got to have had that hard conversation of what are we going to do with a holiday? What are we going to do with Christmas? What are we going to do about uh, Ramadan? You got to have talked about this stuff. What are you looking for in a husband? What are you looking for in a man? Like in a man in general, what are you looking for in a wife? Y'all had to have those hard conversations so that once we get to these different points of growth, because like I said, I met her, she's 15. Like, she can't be the same person at 15 as she is now. I was right. 18 when I met her. I can't possibly be that same person. So having those different conversations, she can tell and knows what it is with you. If y'all been together that long, y'all been, like, locked in for that long, you know, like, if she really don't like this job and it's bad for her physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, all right, look, I don't know how this is going to work out, but you got to get out of that situation because it's what's best for you. Everything has to be about what makes it grow for your own family situation. But ultimately, nothing is louder than you killing yourself on the inside. So you can't be anything for our family if you ain't feeling the situation that you got to go to every day. Because guess what? Me and the kids ain't there. It's just you. You know what I'm saying? Her and your kids ain't there. It's just you going in there every day. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to have them conversations. You got to have those hard conversations. You can't be scared of it. Like, man, she's going to be bitching if I say this. He's going to be bitching if I say that. No, it is what it is. We've grown and got people looking at us. Station cut off, King. I'm sorry. You got to you gotta have those hard conversations so you don't outgrow the marriage. 
Because yeah. like, like like pretty much what you're saying, if you don't have those conversations, so now you're walking around with all this built up resentment. Like, yeah, like you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's better to just be straightforward, say what you want, say what you don't like, so you don't outgrow the marriage. As long as you don't outgrow the marriage. Question. What do you do if you go for if you go to that now and it, all right, yeah, your, your situation hype. Let's say you go to your wife and you say, "Hey, this is what I'm doing. Custom hustle world, H2H clean, and I'm, I'm, you know, syndicated all show, over the country. You know. Syndicated all over the country, trying custom, to get I'm, uh, this, how to hustle seminars. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing right now, and I'm leaving my good job. With the, where where we secure it? What about if she said no? You got the right to your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would be the same thing for her. Ultimately, we're going to have a conversation about it so that you're not blindsided when the other person does it. The communication right. is how any of these relationships work. If Oak so, doesn't communicate to y'all, yo, look, right now my schedule is too messed up that I can't make it to the podcast. If you don't, com- if you don't communicate that, he just don't show up. The now podcast we got to go on. But I'm, but now no, we got but no now, we don't the podcast right. must go on. No, nah, what I'm saying is though is now we got a problem with the business if we don't communicate what the situations are. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have to agree on everything. We can agree to disagree, but if you never say, "Yo, I ain't happy with the situation that's here," and like you let that resentment build up, and then one day you just blow the fuck up. You now it's where did that come from? You yeah, I've been, I've been there. I've been there. Oh yeah, Mister. They didn't bring me nothing back from the mall. Yeah, yeah but, but, <laughs> yo, and how long ago was that? What a year ago, two years ago. I'm I'm not even that person anymore. I only I, like I look back at that and I'm like I grew so much from. I'm not even that person no more. I can really I I can really care less now. Why? Because now it's like I just I look at shit different. Like, and this is what I mean. I'm, I'm not get off subject, but back to your situation, right? Say you gotta say sometimes is the decision I'm making better for my family, the family, whatever, or is just all pure ego. And as men, a lot of the shit we go through, right, within these lengthy ass relationships, being a husband, being a dad, all that type shit, right? It it is really simple. It's based off making the decision of the yes or the no or the can't or can or can't is is it pure emotion or is also what's better for the family in your situation i'm not i'm speaking hypothetically i'm i could be wrong but i feel like your decision might have been off of pure ego this is what i'm doing because i'm international hype i can make this work i'm gonna make this work make this work xyz don't know what was going on at the time. Only you do. But it's like, I that that decision for you to do that was based off, of, I think, ego. Boom, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It might have, could have been the best decision at the time. Maybe not, only you know. But I'm just saying, straight up and down, men make decisions off of pure ego sometimes. Of what they think they sh- should be doing. Because I'm the man, I'm the lead. I don't. Uh, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I wouldn't think that off of him. I don't think it would. So, I mean, are, are we going ego or just confidence? Sometimes, see, like I don't like you know. Some people be like, right, so let me ask you this. Hi, let me ask you this. There's a fine line the between ego the thin and line and what's the I, difference yeah, between but, ego and confidence? Hold up. Hear let me Dan, out. Let Dan me get out it first. Go ahead. Hear me out. A lot of people, motherfuckers that tell you you cocky or you two this and the third, but I'm confident in my abilities. And not only that, I'm showing and proving that it can be done. And if you don't answer this right, hype, I'm going to be mad. I'm, I'm really going to be mad, bro. What's the difference Look. between ego and confidence, my nigga? Perception of the person. That's all about what they what they see. Oh, bro. And I'm surprised at you. Right now, the difference between ego and confidence is confidence is <clears throat> I'm going to fucking show you. And that's what you do. No. I'm going to show you. No. no. I'm going to show no. you. Ego no. is no. ego. That's is, ego. 
Let him, ego. Let him, wait, let Dan, let him, let, him get, let, let him get it off. Go ahead. Let him get it off. I, that's that's my confidence is I'm going to show you. I'm showing oh, you. Ego. I don't really have to say ego is I'm telling you what I'm going to do, what I can no, do. Confidence is me telling you what I'm going to do and actually do it. That's confidence, my nigga. I'm confident in my abilities. This that's is what, what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Ego is me telling y'all, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show y'all. I'm a, I'm a, you trying to prove somebody wrong. I ain't trying to prove shit to nobody. I know what I got in me. I know what I can do. And this is what I'm going to do. That's like, confident. It looks like you boiling like over. That, you, Sorry, some people but, take that as ego or cocky. But if he know, if Hank know, I right, look, these is my numbers. This is what I'm doing while I'm on some part-time shit doing this shit. Imagine what I could do if I make this, if I do this on a full time thing. It's called so, con that, he confident in his hustle. Let the man, let the man have the stage. Let him go. Let and him go. This is this is why I fell back and let y'all both answer it because, like I said, it's the perception of the person, and what y'all just gave was the different perceptions that y'all came from this same question. Mm. Uh, for me, it's like the job situation. I don't really want to get too personal to jump in and all that. We can talk about that right. off mic. Uh, you know, this thing goes everywhere and I don't like everybody in my business. Um, but as far as the different situations, those different situations are things that make money. Now, having a, you have to have something steady because all of those different situations are things that revolve around somebody needing your service. If nobody calls, if somebody call, nobody calls for a jacket or a cleaning job this week, ah, things get tight. But the week where you got three cleaning jobs, four jackets, and six jerseys, now we lit. So it's all about supply and demand. You have to have somebody need, somebody has to have the demand for your supply. And if there is nobody who needs the supply, then you're not making anything, which is why you have the steady nine to five situation so that you can keep everything going in. You can't have too much pride and ego, though, to say, I ain't never going to work for nobody and tell them because my situation gonna pop. Yeah, your situation might pop, but you also have to understand that it can't be all about what you want because that's what you want to do for you. When you got people looking at you saying, Dad, what's for dinner tonight? I need a new coat. I grew out of these sneaks. She need a whole new wardrobe. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can't make those selfish, boneheaded decisions about your own pride and ego because pride and ego are for children who... who not, excuse me, people who react off their pride and their ego are making immature decisions. They're not making a mature decision. They're not being honest with themselves when they look at themselves. Like Dan said, I can look at the numbers and like I said, it could be popping this week. It could be popping this month. It could be then nothing going on for a month. And now what? So you can't have yourself in a situation where now what turns into now we scrambling and doing some dumb shit and now you go and this collect callers from hype. You know what I'm saying? Can't be in that situation. Right. It's all right. So now we went to crickets and nobody got nothing to say. Now, <laughs> big man. Okay. No, mm -hmm. I, I relax. I don't like, you know, I don't like, you know, spitting off. The, that was totally off of what we said we was going to talk about, but we just got. Nah, I mean, I mean, we good. We in a safe space here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I mean? Got into it. But um, I don't think you, Dan, you never really told us, uh, your answer to the initial question. Do you outgrow the the, the initial question? No, nah, here you go. Now, if you feel as though you outgrowing your wife, because we all married men here, uh, mm -hmm. if you feel like you outgrowing your wife, what do you do? Do you sit yeah. down and have a conversation? Because like I said, now you got a house, we got kids, and we got years upon years in. Dan said oh. this on the episode, and I always go back to this. If I break up with my wife, where am I going? Where do I live? <laughs> like, Here's the thing. This is my advice. This is me for I'll go first. Um, how you, never, you ain't say how long you've been married either. You just said, you know what I'm saying, high school straight to the league. That's not giving out to people a number. Uh, I've been married uh, 13 years. I've been with my wife four years, so... You've been with your wife for four years? For four years, but y'all been married for 13? What the hell kind of public school did you go to? <laughs> um, I went to, um, my public school really wasn't like a public school. It was like one of those. Um, he doesn't understand how bad the math was, y'all. 
He you was said the, we've been married for 13. He was in that little back four. You know that little back room? That little back room at the school? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's Are we go. doing fractions? <laughs> Is this long division? He's been, he been with his wife since 05. Copy yeah, I, okay. got I, yeah, I got married in 09. All right, copy that. Since 05. Yeah. Man, thanks, Dan. You was there a first date type time. Again, I'm locked yeah, out of yeah. listening every week. So you but, said but I, he was, I can though. do all that. No, he was, though. Real shit. He was yeah, there. I listened to the episode. I'm but, locked uh, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, back to what we were saying. You and your wife, if you feel as though y'all growing apart in this situation, like she's not like you, for example, like you, because like I told you this before, like listening to the episodes, I can hear the change in you. Yeah. Now, I've if had your wife. If your wife is not like going along with this change, then what do we do here? I've had these several. I've had this conversation several times over the decade I've been married. That's my whatever. Whatever area you feel you may be growing out of in your marriage, you have to immediately have that conversation. Don't fester on it. Don't let it wait. Don't don't think it's just going to change without you saying nothing because you and your feelings thinking it's going to change. And then you wait and then you realize it's not going to change. Whatever area that you feel like you're outgrowing your marriage, have the conversation immediately and be as transparent as possible if you like your big toe licked and it ain't been licked you need to tell your wife hey babe i got this new thing i like this you have like, i'm just using that as a i'm not i'm with you i'm just using that if it's that Crazy. Hey, listen, you married, you, you gotta to get nasty that. sometime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you need to have that fucking conversation, bro. Like you have to if you send it out here, toes not licked. Because you know if, <laughs> if that's what you went to on your I don't want I don't or, want or your be, wife your wife don't tell you. I don't want the do big toe being sucked to be the fact that's I don't want that to be where you draw the line in your marriage though. I'm just <laughs> Give people the fucking eye. If you don't suck this big toe, I'm out. <laughs> Period. Nah. <laughs> well, see, the thing, I get what you're saying, face. It's the thing where it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be anything that I'm looking for that you can't satisfy. Because then you send me out into the world unsatisfied. Oh, That's how you start looking for shit, and people start liking too many of your pictures. The other day I'm at work, the chick smiled way too hard for me to just be handing you something. So instantly I go, okay, you can't look at this bitch no more. She's drawing, like okay. The, the the problem comes far before you ever showed up at the crib to hit. Okay, the problem mm -hmm. came when you entertained it from the rip. Mm -hmm. Somebody likes too many pictures. Okay, we're gonna need to block you. Okay, because you can't keep liking all these pictures, and now I'm seeing too much in your pictures. We can't have this situation. I don't need to be tempted by anything. So let's just get you right out of the equation. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna call you all types of bitches and all of that. We ain't doing none of that. But that's yeah, why you just give them the podcast page. <laughs> like all them people. <laughs> we need all that traffic. <laughs> Listen, man, that's my advice. So you don't outgrow your man. You gotta have whatever commas, whatever area you feel like you're slipping, you need to have that conversation immediately. And you need to have it and you and you need to be heard and you need to be as transparent as possible. And pray and hope that it's received well. If not, then that's when the tricky shit starts. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, so I'll give you a personal joint. So, you know, hardworking man, you know, nigga be tired. You know what I'm saying? Trying to provide for the house. Uh, me and my wife, it slowed up on our going out and, you know, our date nights and, you know, just our little shit that we like to do. And we got into that, uh, what they call it, like that roommate phase where like, we just, we both here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we here, yeah. yeah, we could, we here. You know what I'm saying? We both going to work. We tired of shit. We ain't doing the marriage. You know, we ain't doing that shit. You know, we both, we dead tired. When we both, when we finally do get a minute, we just, we just chill. We just here. We ain't doing nothing. We ain't going out. You know what I'm saying? Break. We, we, we had that conversation. We had that conversation. It felt like we was, you know, I mean, so now we got to get, we got to snap out of it. Now we're going out more. 
we just popping up the random spots, just doing our little, you know, we we trying to reinvigorate that thing. You know what I'm saying? Go to Puerto Rico, go to a whole nother country. You know what I'm saying? We flying out next month. You know what I mean? We 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 try and do that thing so that we don't grow apart. And it's just now we just cohabitate and we just live here together. You know what I'm saying? Uh if now you gotta sometimes you gotta be able to look at yourself and say, I right, am I the problem? Am I not, you know what I'm saying? Am I Happy. not growing? Am I not, you know, moving forward? Am I not moving as forward as fast as she would like me to move forward? And if you want to save your marriage, then you got to step it the fuck up. It's been multiple times, like, you know what I'm saying? And I tell, like, nigga, my, my, my wife changed my whole outlook on a lot of shit. Like I said, I never had a bank account before I got my wife. You know what I'm saying? So Here's the thing. People look at marriage as, oh, my God, I'm going to get married and it's going to be easy. No. You're going to get fucking work. It's it's constant work. It's just work. It's work. And but it, here's the thing: if you it, work at, if you if you properly work it, at it, and, and if, listen, that's why people get married and don't stay married because they live in this fucking false fairy tale that you get well, married. The thing, because majority of these young folks that's getting married, they not getting. They looking just at the wedding, dog. A lot of them, they, I'm getting married. My wedding, this day and the third. All right, but what about the next day? And the next week, and the next year, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta really, you you gotta work at this shit. This shit ain't this. It's not. It's not always gonna be peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? So let me throw this at you. Sometimes it's rocky road like a motherfucker. <laughs> I got engaged in March and married in July. And the reason that I did it like that was because of exactly what you're saying. This is what I kept telling people when they was like, well, "Why you want to do it so fast? The wedding is one day in a couple of pictures." Yeah. That shit don't matter. The shit that matters is, are we still together 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now? Do we really love each other? Do we really want to sacrifice for each other? Do we really want to see each other win? Do we want to see each other grow? That's all of the shit that's the work. Do we want to com- Do we love each other enough to compromise? Do we love each other enough to be there for good, bad, and different? That's the shit that matters. These pictures from this wedding day, that doesn't matter. Like, None of that shit. But None the thing, shit. like you said, that people get caught up into is, oh, I'm going to have this and I'm going to have that all for this one fucking day that we've been paying off for the last three years. Now right. that puts that takes us behind the eight ball because now we already got a strange situation because now we fucked up on this bread that we really didn't have in this situation. Mm-hmm. Now we never communicated how how I grew up, how you grew up. And now we got two totally different situations and we butt heads. This is why I said me and my wife situations she was my best friend and people would say that it was like, people thought it was kind of corny to say that shit, but nah, if I needed somebody else to help me lift this couch, it was going to be her. If I needed somebody to wait for the cable man, it was going to be her. Like if I needed somebody to do anything, if I told her, let's ride, I need to ride a lessons in Kentucky. She ain't going to ask me why she was going to say, come on. Like, so that, that was why, why I don't care what's going on. I would never start over again. Cause I trust my wife. Because I've been through struggle with her, I know how she uh, reacts during sh- during struggle. I don't nigga. people that much to go through struggle with somebody that I don't know how they gonna react when struggle. I mean, but hard. You, see, in these situations, we didn't know. I didn't always know her. You didn't always know your wife. So it's kind of hard to say that. Like it's gonna be weird for me to say what I'm about to say, but I mean, it is what it is. My wife knows what our situation is. Um, that's basically like, could you ever see yourself starting over? Nobody wants to start over because it's like, how do you even talk to these motherfuckers? But Bruh. shit happens and you might have to. <laughs> hey, hey, hi. This sh- my marriage is like gang shit, nigga. Ain't no getting out this shit, nigga. I mean, that's why I said it's going to sound out, nigga. That's why I said it's going to sound <laughs> weird, but no let's, shit. let's just say <laughs> car accident here. happens and now she's not here no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit for the rest of my life and go like, oh my God, I can never talk to another girl again. I'm I'm just going to be fucking. I'm not being in a relationship. I refuse. I'm not trying to, I'm dog. 
I'm not learning no new chick at 40 plus. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm not trying to, I'm not learning one of these new. It, I'll as tell you this. I ask shorty, look, as soon as you ask, as soon as I ask you for the number and you be like, huh, no, you can have my Instagram. I'm turned off. It's over yeah, with. nah, last. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> dipping that low into the kiddie pool. You know what I'm saying? As as you, I got to, I got I got to hit you in the DM. Bitch, I'm about to call you. We going to talk. <laughs> I'm not no. saying, yeah. yeah. I'm not talking. Yeah, I'm I don't I don't want one of them neither. That's why I'm out the game. Um, All the way out the game and have no interest of getting back at the I'm out. Yeah. I mean copy, <laughs> no I wasn't saying, I wasn't in. yeah, I wasn't saying that to say I wanted to put my jersey on again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I would never it, my shit is in it, the rafters, burn it, it looks rough oh, out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's I'm, yeah, it, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm out there watching a the nigga die for a touchdown and say he just fell straight on his kneecaps. Man, I wouldn't be able to walk for a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get back in the game. Ow. Hey, man, but, um, I'm sorry. You on the THC we, Network, right? Yes, that is THC Network. Saturdays, 12. Uh, that is 12. No, that is 10 a.m. every Saturday. THC Network. <laughs> THC Media. Shout out my man, he is dying over here. All right, now before we wrap this one up, BTG two one five. Last episode that y'all put out, we said we are getting back to the essence of us. What exactly yes. does that mean for the listeners? That's crazy. Right. We just talking so, about that. Today. That's crazy. When we first started this thing, Pay it was it's was, not just something that I'm saying. Face, I'm saying I've been yeah, doing studies. <laughs> when we first started our pod, it was more or less based off of our everyday shit it was like more of a relationship you know it was more relationship based it was more uh just man shit with like you know our take on life marriage fatherhood and it kind of morphed into a more raunchy or more raunchy more current the squeaky event, squeaky you know what I'm saying? little squeaky squeaky you know <laughs> shit like that you know so <laughs> we try to get <laughs> shaky <laughs> When we say we try to get back to the essence and we go on with like, that's where a lot of our best episodes was off of those type of joints, you know, relationship shit. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, so, married men talking about so, married men shit. So Why, listen, you know, that was relationships us. Relationships make great episodes. It's like a motherfucker, <laughs> for real. Definition of the essence. The def My definition of our essence is he's the older one. He's the smarter one. It's People don't know face. Face is young, wild. Well, I'm not young anymore, but my personality is young, wild, and there's a lot of shit I don't really know. And I might not say this shit the right way or ask the shit right. So whenever I go through shit in my day to day, I call this nigga. Like, literally, it's how the podcast start. I will call this nigga. We will have 15 to 20, 30 minute conversation about some shit I just made. Have a question about seeing went through or whatever, and then one day somebody was like, yo, y'all should start a podcast. Or no, not even a podcast. Yo, y'all need to record the shit y'all be talking about. You got a computer? Like, on like, no bullshit. We would just, we would be having a smoke session somewhere, and me and this nigga just start talking about some old crazy shit, and everybody that's around, they just like, yo, y'all yo, should record this shit. And then it turned into me and him having a conversation one day. That's while how we, most motherfuckers like, start. Yo, we should start a podcast. Like, shit, that's, that's how me. most people start, like, you know, it'd be them conversations. Really, like, sit down and be like, all right, what you want to talk about this week? What you want to talk about this week? Yo, yo, I came up with this. Where, like, our best episode, our best conversations is just, like, we walking yeah, with nothing. We walking we with nothing. Be, like, look, we were literally walking with nothing. Bro, what happened to you today? Nigga, let me tell you the job, this, that, this, that, uh, my wife, this, that, and then now you didn't have, we didn't, no, we, like, in the beginning, we was doing, like, fucking hour and a half two hours just talking just going you know what i mean but then you you know we break it down to 45 to an hour now you know what i'm saying just yeah. so we can keep people engaged the and shit you know what I mean? the episodes before episode 100 i've changed i'm not that person anymore <laughs> i'm really not that person anymore the right. the only case before any episode before episode 100 i'm I'm not him anymore. I've matured a lot. My views have changed. You know, and from epi uh, from episode, if you go first, you can't even find the first three episodes. 
is uh is only on uh YouTube. We did, we weren't even doing audio. And we where's the YouTube? Where is the YouTube page? What is that exactly? That is, oh, oh, the YouTube, Dave. Is, uh, you got to spell it out all the way out. That's Bridging the Gap Podcast. Uh, there is no G in Bridging. As soon as you take that, if you if you type in Bridging with the G, you are gonna like Nas and some other motherfuckers. It's gonna come up. But if you take that G off, <laughs> we pop up. So and we and we right there. I thought we got episodes with doctors on there and shit. Like we, you know, what's that? We got an episode called "What's That Shit on Your Lip." That was like episode what five, six. You know what I'm saying? Like we we be we had some joints. Yeah, you know I mean? heard- and and if we go and and to be honest, like them joints when we be having those real conversations about shit we go through, those be our highest watched viewed joints. You know what I'm saying? Versus me and him just going in there talking about people, Kanye and Trump and the see, you know that's, the, that'd be my whole like situation that. is people like them organic conversations better than just the current event because the current event I'm not going back to listen to six months from now. Exactly. So shit like this is an evergreen topic. Somebody people tell me all the time, like when I first tell them, yo, I was listening to this shit from four months ago that you did this joint from whenever because they evergreen. It's not about the whatever's popping right, right now. People People, for all you other podcasters out there, if you just starting, you know, you're talking to niggas that's over 100 in, you know what I'm saying, but on both sides, you know what I'm saying? Hype might not be, a, I don't know if you're, you're not 100 in on, on I Am Hype, but overall, yeah, yeah overall, overall, yeah, I'm a few hundred kind of guy. Yeah. Over 100, dog. You're, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're past us, well over our drinks, and we had 120-something, almost 130, but... That replay value, what you're talking about, that's your that's what you you need that replay value. Them Jones that motherfuckers gonna go back and listen to them Jones that's gonna keep your numbers going up. Them Jones that oh I gotta send this to my man. Oh, I'm gonna send this to my wife. I want her to hear this John. Them the Jones that people won't always go back to, and that's your bread and butter with this podcast shit. That replay See, value. Even- Stuff like that that you're talking about, like I know if somebody has a situation and I say, yeah, I did an episode on that. Check this drawing out. Might be from a while ago, but it's still current. It's still current because it's not something that was going on that particular week. Um, before we close this episode out, though, this is something new that I'm doing, and I forgot to do it the last week episode with Barb. So I'm gonna definitely be sliding your DMs, Barb. I need you to send me this. Um, when you hear my name, when you hear somebody say hype, what do you think of? We're gonna start with face first. <laughs> Damn, bro. Um, when I hear your name, what do I think of? Yeah. Um, I think that you're a comedian. A what? A comedian. When I hear hype, not w- no, not when you hear the name. When somebody's talking about me, if somebody oh. say, "Yo, you know hype," <laughs> you think, "What is up with your man today?" <laughs> You think what? Well, first, I thought he called you a chameleon. <laughs> I thought he, okay, maybe he thought, damn, these drones be funny. Copy. I mean, you never know. Oh, I'm off the indica. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, no bullshit. I hear your name. I, if I hear your name or your name associated with it, it's, it's, major, it's normally legit. And uh, I mean, I'm gonna fuck with it. No bullshit, straightforward. You say you got a track record, and if you say something, you're gonna do it. Not many niggas got that track record. So I fuck, that's why I fuck with you. You say something, put your name on it, it is what it is, or you're gonna do it. When I, me, when I hear your name, I can't say that for a lot of niggas. Me, personally. Copy that, Dan. Same hustle. question. Just the hustle. Like, nigga, you're everywhere. Yeah, he were. He's a busy I, nigga. I, I call it, I call it uh, 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 the, the saint, the saint, the snowfall of fucking podcasting. Sneakers everywhere, bro. Sneakers. My nigga, either, either, if, first of all, you're all over social media. It's either you promoting uh, one of your stations that you on, you know, GFT, THC, all them Jones, or if you fuck, it's, Custom Hustle World, or it's a cleaning job you just got into. Is you know you everywhere. So if I hear you, when your name come up, well, of course, like Face said, if your name come up, you know it's all good shit. And you know it's all it's all definitely, legit. It's it never no bullshit. Goat for this podcast shit. No, nah, you, you underground, underground goat. And, and when it comes to this podcast shit, dog, you put shit together. You know what I'm saying? The, and the hustle you're is underrated. amazing. You underrated. You underrated. You know I mean? the hustle is amazing. And this is Copy us that. giving flowers. This is us that's giving- why I can't. 
This is why I came up with that one a couple weeks ago. You know, uh, same shit like we just talked about. With damn, what if your wife ends up? Uh, people always if something happened. No, if you end up dead, motherfucker. That's what people mean when they say if something happened. If I am to go tomorrow, I don't want niggas all in my wife DMs and under these pictures and now they screenshot and shit and oh my god, we was the best of friends and this was my man and I thought this 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 and this about him. I want people to put this shit on wax to be able to say these things so that then. My kids can go back, like Danny said, in the replay value. My kids can go back and hear what people really thought about their dad instead of you putting it under a picture two days after I died because guess what? Everybody loved you then. You was everybody's best friend. You had the best advice and y'all had the best time that one day and they screenshot all your pictures. And I hate that type of shit. That yeah. shit ain't genuine. When I wish I because I don't know. I don't fuck with nobody and nobody don't fuck with me. And I would love to see all the people to put the shit under my pictures. I mean, it'd be niggas you went to Middle school with you ain't talked to in 25 years. Maybe y'all was cool back then. You know what I'm saying? I but, I, I mean, hey, Bub, bro, I tell Bub this shit all the time. If I go, before he do, he got one job. And that's the stand fuck niggas out of the funeral. I'm keeping them fuck niggas out of here. I ain't Bub, fuck with you. This fuck nigga out of here. My nigga didn't fuck with you. And cool with the fake shit. I can't wait. I'm going to do the same I'm thing. A, I, and, I, and I hope I'm wait, an old bro. nigga. I hope, I, hope I, 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 I want it to be when I'm an old nigga. The fuck before, we wrap, before we wrap up episode 89, he just said he can't wait till you die. He just said he can't wait to do I this shit. No, 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 I can't wait to, no, I'm a, I just said, I'm going to be a nigga. Hey, Fish, we got two nigga, policies out on you. Nigga, <laughs> Ray and Claude, nigga. This is Ray and Claude you talking to. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, and I'm Eddie. I'm going to bust right up in the motherfucker. Up. Hey, face. Damn, like we got two policies out. We going to cash out on this nigga. And then I'm kicking niggas off the joint. Oh, you, you got to remember it. My wife is his sister. He might be I'm, 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 I'm telling you. He, he like, look, I told him we were signing some podcast paperwork, girl. It's, it's legit. We up. Um, I appreciate y'all coming on, though. That was episode 89. Philly support Philly. Shouts out to my guys, BTG. We are out. Yeah.